Yahweh opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the messenger of Yahweh standing in the way with his sword drawn in his hand, and he bowed his head and fell on his face. And the messenger of Yahweh said to him, For what reason hast thou smitten thy donkey these three times? Behold, I am come forth as an adversary, because thy way is perverse before me. And the donkey saw me, and turned aside before me these three times. Unless she had turned aside from me, surely now I had even slain thee, and saved her alive. And Balaam said to the messenger of Yahweh, I have sinned, for I knew not that thou stoodest in the way against me. Now therefore, if it displease thee, I will get me back again. And the messenger of Yahweh said to Balaam, Go with the men, but only the word that I shall speak to thee, that thou shalt speak. So Balaam went with the princes of Balak, and when Balak heard that Balaam was come, he went out to meet him to the city of Moab, which is on the border of the Arnon, which is in the utmost part of the border. And Balak said to Balaam, Did I not earnestly send to thee to call thee? For what reason camest thou not to me? Am I not able indeed to promote thee to honour? And Balaam said to Balak, Lo, I am come to thee. Have I now any power at all to speak anything? The word that God putteth in my mouth, that shall I speak. And Balaam went with Balak, and they came to Kiryat Chuthot. And Balak sacrificed oxen and sheep, and sent to Balaam, and to the princes that were with him. And it was in the morning that Balak took Balaam, and brought him up into the high places of Baal, and he saw from thence the utmost part of the people. Bamidbar Numbers chapter 23 And Balaam said to Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven bullocks and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had spoken, and Balak and Balaam offered on every altar a bullock and a ram. And Balaam said to Balak, Stand by thy ascending offering, and I will go. Perhaps Yahweh will come to me, and whatsoever he showeth me, I will tell thee. And he went to a bare height. And God met Balaam, and he said to him, I have prepared the seven altars, and I have offered up a bullock and a ram on every altar. And Yahweh put a word in Balaam's mouth, and said, Return to Balak, and thus thou shalt speak. And he returned to him, and lo, he was standing by his ascending offering, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took up his parable and said, From Haram hath Balak brought me the king of Moab, from the mountains of the east. Come, curse me, Jacob, and come, be thou indignant against Yisrael. How shall I curse whom God hath not cursed? And how shall I defy whom Yahweh hath not defied? For from the top of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I behold him. Lo, it is a people that dwelleth alone, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob, or number the fourth part of Yisrael? Let me die the death of the righteous, 
and let my last end be like his. And Balak said to Balaam, What hast thou done to me? I took thee to curse my enemies, and behold, thou hast blessed them altogether. And he answered and said, Must I not take heed to speak that which Yahweh putteth in my mouth? And Balak said to him, Come, I pray thee, with me to another place, from whence thou mayest see them. Thou shalt see but the utmost part of them, and shalt not see them all, and curse me them from thence. And he took him into the field of Dorphim, to the top of the Pasagar, and built seven altars, and offered up a bullock and a ram on every altar. And he said to Balak, Stand here by thy ascending offering, while I meet Yahweh yonder. And Yahweh met Balaam, and put a word in his mouth, and said, Return to Balak, and thus shalt thou speak. And he came to him, and lo, he was standing by his ascending offering, and the princes of Moab with him. And Balak said to him, What hath Yahweh spoken? And he took up his parable and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear, hearken to me, thou son of Thepor. God is not a man that he should lie, neither a son of Adam that he should be repenting. Hath he said, and will he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and will he not make it good? Behold, I have received command to bless, and he hath blessed, and I cannot reverse it. He hath not beheld iniquity in Yaakov, neither hath he seen perverseness in Yishrael. Yahweh his God is with him, and the rumbling roar of a king is among them. God is there, bring forth from Mithraim, like horns of a wild ox for him. Surely there is no enchantment with Yaakov, neither is there any divination with Yishrael. Now shall it be said of Yaakov and of Yishrael, What hath God wrought? Behold, the people riseth up as a lioness, and as a lion doth he lift himself up. He shall not lie down until he eat of the prey, and drink the blood of the slain. And Balak said to Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. But Balaam answered and said to Balak, Told not I thee, saying, All that Yahweh speaketh, that I must do? And Balak said to Balaam, Come now, I will take thee to another place. Perhaps it shall be straight in the eyes of the God, and thou shalt curse the people for me from thence. And Balak took Balaam to the top of the Paror that looketh down upon the desert. And Balaam said to Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven bullocks and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had said, and offered up a bullock and a ram on every altar.